Mortal Kombat 1 has three additions this year. Let's just say the last two are kind of pricey. But with that being said, let's just get into giving you the information so you can make the best choice for you. First on the list, we have the standard. This comes with the base game, playable Shang Tsung character, and access to the pre-order beta. The beta is going to be coming out early, so that way that you guys test out the game before then. The second, we have the premium. This comes with the base game, the playable Shang Tsung character, access to the pre-order beta, six new playable characters, five new camo characters, one week early access to DLC characters, Jean Claude Van Damme skin for Johnny Cage? What? And 1,250 Dragon Crystal in game premium currency. Bro, what the fuck? John Claude Van Damme skin for John. I did not see that coming. Let's continue. For the collectors, we have the base game, playable Shang Tsung character, access to the pre order beta, six new playable characters, five new camo characters, one week early access to DLC characters, John Claude Van Damme skin for Johnny Cage, 2700 Dragon Crystals, Liu Kang sculpture designed by Force with signature glow in the dark details and stated an impressive 16.5 tall. Force art prints inspired by Mortal Kombat 1. Exclusive steel case, exclusive limited edition Liu Kang and game color variant inspired by the course figurine. Bro, at this at this point, I don't even think you want to hear the prices, but here it goes. The cheapest one is gonna be the standard edition, obviously, because this is just a regular and it's gonna run you about $70. That's about it. But then when it comes to the premium, it is gonna be $110 which is $40 more than the standard edition. So that means you better be getting some good out of it. Everything that you've seen that I mentioned is what you're getting out of it. So now you can make the decision for yourself to see if it's worth it or not for you to pay that extra $40 to get everything within game. Or you can get within game and then purchase those later on if you choose to. But not only that, this game is only for next gen. It's not for current gen, which is crazy. And that's why they're pretty making the prices like this. Now we come to the collect edition which is like harry potter it is a whopping 250 dollars that is crazy a whopping 250 dollars i mean some people are gonna get it hopefully it's dope as it is good as it looks in the picture but a whopping 250 is what you're gonna be paying for everything including the statue the game and everything that comes with the previous premium um edition so that is what you're gonna be paying for hopefully this video helped you so you don't have to go searching for the information all over the internet you can just get it right here in the video and if you did like this video please make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe it's gonna really help the algorithm to get people to find this video so it can help other people as well and also if you haven't seen my reaction to a mortal kombat 1 trailer please go ahead and click the video in the right corner so you can go watch that